we have the server. It quite clearly referred to Hillary Clinton's server, the one she tried so hard to destroy before it would be used against her in a court of law. But how did the Q team lay their hands on it? The clue was given in Helsinki, Finland, when Trump met Vladimir Putin on July 16, 2018. Trump openly asked the audience, where is the server? Where are the servers? They are missing. Where are they? What happened to Hillary's emails? 33,000 emails. They're gone. Just gone. I think it's a disgrace. Remember the scene with the soccer ball? Putin handed Trump the ball and said, the ball is now in your court. Trump took the ball and said, this will go to my son, Baron. He then threw the ball to Melania. What was so special about the ball? Why the big smiles and the twinkling in their eyes? What was going on here? And why did Melania post a tweet with this picture later that year? Many QAnons agree on the theory that the content of the servers was inside that soccer ball, containing enough incriminating evidence to put a lot of people in Washington, D.C. behind bars for life. Try evidence for the Uranium One scandal, where Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State, and with knowledge and approval of President Obama, gave Russia control of 20% of America's uranium by approving the Rosatom deal. The Russian company Rosatom had bought the Canadian company Uranium One in 2010, three years after the latter had purchased Eurasia, owned by Frank Gistra, a friend with a pedophile logo from part four, remember? Gistra had officially stepped down after the purchase, so why did he donate $145 million to the Clinton Foundation right after the Rosatom deal was signed? Why on earth was he too embraced by the Dalai Lama? Why the hell did he get the Dalai Lama Humanitarian Award when he is involved up to his ears in child trafficking? Why did Bill Clinton receive $500,000 for a talk in Moscow right after the Rosatom deal was announced? Do you know what we're looking at here? Bribery, corruption, pay to play, money laundering, and high treason. This was the real Russian collusion. Oh, by the way, why did Trump say the soccer ball was going to his son, Beren? According to insiders, Barron is extremely intelligent with an IQ of 146. He is said to be incredible with computers, especially when it comes to hacking, cracking codes, passwords, etc. Bearing this in mind, I so understand the facial expressions that one fine day in Helsinki. Soon, very soon, there will be arrests, mass arrests. Everything has been laid out, 20 years of preparations. The CIA, FBI, DOJ, NSA, every three-letter agency has been cleared of deep state actors. How can you make arrests when the agencies are corrupted?